Hey, this is Dan Seifert with MobileBurn.com, and today we're taking a quick look at something that's a little different. Uh, what I have in front of me here is the HP touchpad tablet, but as you can tell from the looks of things, uh, this is not running WebOS. Recently, uh, a bunch of in entrepreneurial uh, hackers, or developers as you might want to call them, have been able to release a version of Android uh, 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich for the, that works on the HP touchpad. And so that's what I've got installed right here, and we're going to take a quick look at it and uh, just check it out. So for starters, what I can do is I'll show you the lock screen. you got your standard Android lock screen, or Android 4.0 ICS lock screen. You can drag the icon to the right to unlock or the left to the camera. Now, if you do go to the left to the camera, it will just crash. Unfortunately, one of the things that's not working in this particular build is the camera, along with the microphone and any sort of hardware encoded video playback. So that means no Netflix, no HD YouTube, uh, and other high def video stuff. Uh, but here we've got your standard home screen for Android uh, 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich on a tablet. And you can see here, it's quite responsive. I can swipe through things very quickly and easily. Um, the widgets are all scrollable, of course, and those are all very fast, as you can see. I've got access to my applications in the upper right-hand corner, as we might expect with 4.0. And, of course, all of our widgets that we have available. As you can see, everything is very snappy and very quick, uh, something that we're not used to seeing on uh, Android tablets, at least I haven't yet. I've never really been impressed with any sort of Android Honeycomb tablet, but this is quite impressive as far as performance goes. If we tap that here, we've got our access to our, our uh, multitasking menu, which you can then swipe the apps off to close them if you are done checking them out. And you, of course, can jump between them very quickly and easily. Over here, you've got uh, your settings menu, and what I'll do is I'll pop open the settings app here and we'll take a look at the about information. So there we go, we got uh, Android 4.03. Now the version that I'm running here is uh, called CM9 or Cyan Engine Mod 9 and it's Alpha 6. So it's still considered Alpha, it's still a very early version. Uh, but as you can see, unless you really need uh, use of the camera and the microphone and high def video playback, you can really use this as uh, your daily driver. I rarely see any apps crash. Apps open very quickly and easily. Uh, and swiftly and are very responsive. Here we've got a look at the new uh, Chrome for Android beta and we can open up some web pages here. And of course that opens up uh, mobileburner.com in our mobile version. You can open up our desktop version here. There we go, slight lag there. Uh, but it did open up the full version of the desktop page, and you can see it's fully uh, navigatable, or navigable, as you might want to say. And you've got pinch to zoom works, double tap to zoom works, all the fun stuff. The only thing that really is tough to get working, like I mentioned earlier, is the video playback that I haven't been able to get working so far. And of course you can open up new tabs, you can navigate between your tabs. This, is, this version of Chrome for uh, Android is very much like the uh, desktop version, unlike the um, uh, mobile phone version that is tailored to the mobile phone. The tablet version here is, is very similar to the desktop version. So if we open up the new tab thing again, we can view other devices and we can view uh, tabs that are open on other computers that I've got synchronized with my Chrome account, which is pretty cool. So you can jump to tabs that you have open. I can access all my bookmarks on my other devices, which is pretty cool, right from the tablet there. So that's very nice syncing. That's all in Chrome for Android uh, beta. Just give you an idea of the performance here of the touchpad running Android 4.0, and you can see everything is very fast. Uh, it's surprisingly fast as far as performance goes, and it uh, seems to be a bit snappier and faster than we even see with uh, WebOS on the touchpad. Um, just to prove here, we've got access to the an uh, Android Market, so you can install applications. bounce around some of the menus and apps here. 
So there you go. That's a really quick look at the Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich build done by the CyanogenMod Mod team, or CyanogenMod Mod uh, 9 uh, is what this version is. And this is Alpha 6. It's not fully working uh, as full as fully baked, but it is very usable, um, save for the camera support and the microphone support. That doesn't seem to work yet. So there you have it. That's a real quick look at it. If you want to do this to your touchpad, uh, you can Google around. There's plenty of guides out there to do it. It really doesn't take that much. If you've ever installed a custom ROM on an Android phone, uh, it's not too much different than that. So there you go. This is Dan Seifer with MobileBurn.com, and this is Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich on an HP touchpad. Thanks for watching.